how to boost Windows 11 on a PC. First you do this, you do defragment, optimize, and that's how you optimize it. But to optimize automatically, it has to be daily. Then what you do is run disk lead up, it cleans your disk up, select everything, lead up system files, and select all of these files, click OK, and then delete files, it makes you clean the drive. It'll take a little bit of time to do. Then what you do is go into something like View Advanced System Settings. What you do is go to Settings, select this for free. View Advanced System Settings. Are just for best performance apply also if you want animations to it we want to use some animations but also if you want to use some things here they would increase performance also you show thumbnails instead of icons apply it will refresh your appearance. That's what you do. Also, if you want Windows animations, just press so with window contents while dragging. It will do that, and there we go. Make sure. You don't have any restore points because restore points can sometimes slow your computer down. Also, to increase more performance, you can just disable the printer driver. And go to some HID things. There you go. Those do that. Also, to improve more performance. Turn off white cache buffer flushing on the device. Press OK and there you go. Bluetooth. You can disable Bluetooth, but it will save power. Also some other controllers. But if you want to do some printing, you can enable the printer driver, that's fine. You want to disable unnecessary things? There is more to disable. Bluetooth audio. USB audio. Disable that. I guess it will increase performance to the thing. Also, if your memory is 3.6, then you're just going to have to... Do reboot and it will clear your RAM. But there is memory cleaners out there that you can do. Advanced, you can go to settings and then go to advanced and you can change your page file. You can go from select, just select that, then say what select. Oh, system manage size to custom size. Select 118 gigabytes. If your drive is smaller than 64 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes, set it to 16,384. I don't think 16,384, I guess you do 8,192. But because it's a 512 gigabyte drive, I guess, let me check. That is a 512 gigabyte drive. Set that to 118 gigabytes or small and that. 82 gigabytes should do to your page file, that's what you do. Also, that's why your computer is slow. 
don't select background services. Do programs were essential. No, just don't press that button. Just press that button there. Also, the way to increase more performance is go to gaming and turn off game mode. And what you do is you can select the game performance increaser. Let's go to C drive. I'll select application. There is applications you can increase performance onto. Versions, like this, oh great, let's just grab that, you can do, select the performance increase there, but, it is a good version to just set performance increase there, but, you just have to press that and then, add, I guess, adding it, launch is there, so just add it, Select the performance increaser. Then make sure you don't use optimizations for windowed games. So, or you can just do that. I don't know if it does increase it or not, but it's fine. Save it and then go to browse again. Then you go to users, me, that, then. And what you do is go to local, local again. But. That's my apps that will chilly because this is my games that go on. For 43 AD, then go to Roblox File Launcher. Select that and we will have high performance. So the whole app is high performance. But there you go, that's how you increase performance in Windows 10. You go default graphics settings and then turn on optimizers for Windows games. You'll have to restart your game to apply the effects. To get the performance increasing, you can just disable telescreen windows. What you do is go to App Diagnostics, turn it off, and then under the first background apps in Windows 11, you can disable background apps. To install the apps, I guess. But what you do is select that. Well, that doesn't show up on mine, but there's ways to improve application performance by just going in that app, go into advanced, and then go to some application increase performance. But that's not there, so. Check for updates. Windows updates can increase performance, as you might know. So those are the Windows updates. My device is up to date. You can just turn that update on and then go to optimal driver updates and you can just go there and install the update. That's optional updates for Windows. But that literally crashed the app immediately, so it's just a bug. It's just a bug with a Windows update, but that's fine. It just does it normally. I guess it's updating now. It downloaded way too quick and the application literally crashed. A lot of downloads. That increases performance, but it does turn it off to increase performance. Well, that literally crashed the app somehow. Because my computer's too quick. Pause the updates. Or to disable advertiser ID, you can just turn all these off. To search for fast indexing, you just have to go to a fast indexing. You can turn this on. It's increased performance. Everything does increase performance. But that's all we're doing.
So I'll fire and uh, there we go. That is how you improve Windows 11 performance in any ways. Thanks for watching and see you next video.